Hello everyone, this is Teacher Zerwana again, and for tonight's lesson, we're going to focus on one sentence that I actually saw on Facebook, okay? So, a lot of people are asking if this sentence is grammatically correct. Okay, let's analyze the sentence and let's see if this is really grammatically correct. Now, this is actually the sentence before ha was, 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 is. So, is it really grammatically correct? As you can see, there are a lot of was used in the sentence. So, let's see. Let's analyze the sentence then. Okay, so ready? Okay, focus on the sentence and listen to the discussion. And later on, we're going to find out if the sentence is really grammatically correct. Okay, so first, as you can see here, we have before. Okay, so before can either be a conjunction or a preposition. Let's study that one first. I'm going to include that here so that you can learn other things as well while we are studying this one since this topic is just very short. Okay, so before can be a preposition. Of course, as a preposition, the pattern, if we're going to use it, is preposition plus noun. Okay, so preposition plus noun. And then... We can also use that, okay, we can also use that as a conjunction, okay? So if that is a conjunction, of course, the pattern that we can use is actually before plus subject plus verb plus the rest of the sentence, okay? So if we're going to use before plus noun, okay, or the preposition before plus noun, that is an adverb, okay? So, and then this case as well, okay, that is used as an adverb. Let's have an example sentence. For example, um, before, before the party, I had visited my friend first. Okay, so I had visited my friend first before the party. As you can see here, there's a comma. Why? Because adverbs are really placed at the last part of the sentences. So after all the sentence pattern, we put an adverb. Okay, for example, this is the basic pattern. So I can say like, I had visited my friend, visited my friend before the party. Okay, so in that case, I actually like, use the subject I had visited as a verb and then my friend as an object and before the party is this an adverb of time so in the first one I want to focus on that so I move it in front but I use a comma to show that we are not following the regular sentence pattern okay so that is an adverb and before plus a noun so that's a preposition there now in this case before can be used as a conjunction too now as a conjunction we can actually like follow the pattern okay so for example before i attended the party i had visited my friend first okay so as you can see here i used the subject i and the past perfect tense Okay, or past perfect form of the verb had visited and then the object my friend. And I use a comma there because like what I've said, we didn't follow the regular sentence pattern there when we wrote it. Okay, right. So the, or the, the basic sentence pattern would be I had visited my friend first. I can even omit for first because past perfect is used to talk about like a past action that happened first. By the way, we're going to focus on the past perfect tense and other tenses next time as well okay so i had visited my first uh i had visited my friend first okay before i attended a party okay remember that we only use the comma in the first one because we move the adverbs in front in this case we don't really need to put any comma okay so let's go to our sentence as you can see here there is a comma right so therefore this one is an adverb, okay? So let's analyze this sentence now, right? Now, so in this case, let's focus first on our main sentence, okay? Which is this. Was here is actually our subject, okay? And then we have was, another was. This is our linking verb, okay? Remember, this is our linking verb here, and this is our complement, okay? 
right? So this is our complement. And here, before is used as a conjunction. So this is an adverb. Okay, so we have like a conjunction plus the subject was plus another verb was and then we have the complement was again. Now, what do I mean? Okay, I'm going to substitute other words for you to fully understand that. Okay, so let's have an example. Okay, for example, I will use the word love. Okay, since yeah, everyone loves this word, right? And I do love that word as well. Okay, so now let's focus on love. And the past tense of love is actually loved, right? So it was only in the past, right? Not anymore. <laughs> right okay but anyway let's continue with that okay so before was 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 okay i'm gonna actually like um i'm gonna like change some of the words here okay into love okay so what we're gonna leave is actually just our our verb okay our verbs don't forget that so as you can see here we will leave it as it is was and we will leave this one as it is as well okay so let's change it now okay so let's have before was okay the past tense is love right before loved was loved loved was loved okay so as you can see there the meaning is actually like before it became the past oh before the past tense loved this one, okay, was loved. That past tense was actually love in the present tense, okay? So, let's make it clearer. I will change because love here and was there, they are not used as nouns, in as, as verbs in sentences. Originally, they are verbs, but they are used as subjects and complements, remember, so they are used as nouns in sentences. Let's use a real noun for you to understand it better. For example, before a dog... Okay, before a dog was a dog, okay, it or the dog, okay, let's focus on the dog, okay, the dog, okay, was a puppy, okay, so that's the thing, before it was a dog, it was a puppy, okay, so before it was a dog, it was actually a puppy, okay, right, so the same thing here. Before was, before the verb was, was was, that verb was actually is. So this sentence is actually grammatically correct, okay? So I hope that it helps. I hope you learned something from this. If you have any grammar question, feel free to comment down, okay? Down this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this YouTube channel. Okay, have a great night ahead and let's continue studying English grammar to find an easy way. Bye!